and ensuring in the meanwhile their security and the respect of their rights as protected persons under the Geneva Convention. And of course, any attempt to forcibly displace them to another location inside Iraq must be firmly rejected because it would only pave the way for a new massacre and unduly delay the accomplishment of the Stevenson Plan. And dear friends, I do not want to put an end to this brief intervention without saying some sincere words to the Secretary of State, Mrs. Hillary Clinton. Dear Secretary, you are a woman of long political experience, of high moral standards, and of well-proven intelligence. A woman of these qualities must perceive neatly what is just and what is unjust, what is moral and what is unmoral, and what is a good strategy and what is a wrong strategy. You will have to decide very soon on the delisting of the Iranian resistance. And this decision will reveal if you prefer justice to injustice, right to wrong, and the true defense of the legitimate interest of your great nation to fail appeasement policies that are, that are only a waste of time. The NCRI and the POMOI are not terrorists. They are our allies and friends, and they are the strongest, best organized, and more motivated democratic opposition to the fanatical and aggressive dictatorship of Iran. They deserve to have a fair treatment, and it is your moral and political duty to delist them. In the European Union, they have already been cleared by independent courts of justice under the rule of law. It is now time for the United States to do the same and to do it now. Dear, dear Mrs. Rajavi, dear friends, our struggle for democracy and freedom in Iran has still a long way ahead until the final victory. We all know that it will not be an easy way, but you are not alone in this endeavor. Your friends in the European Parliament will always be very close to you, both in pain and in joy, in moments of pessimism and in moments of optimism. Always together until the sun of freedom shines in a cloudless sky on the sacred land of Iran. As the great Spanish poet Salvador Espriu wrote once, a man is not a man if he is not free. Long life to Ashraf as the great symbol of Iranian resistance. Long life to our president, Mariam Rajavi. Viva el Iran libre!